evil Way too many fakes in my face, I can see the evils Drug addictions, bad bitches, they gotta be jokes See the Pico, black flags, it's all What's good, yo, we back, RTTV What's good, yo, we back, RTTV Hey, 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 hey. Eagles Yo, and I'm proud to announce that RTTV has partnered up with Biz Media and Powerhouse to get you this brand new fire anime available on Netflix called Seis Mano. Yes, yes. let's go! Yes, yes sir! sir. You, uh, some of you, you guys probably see that we reacted to the trailer and the sneak peek, and we are going to be reacting to the series. And today we're going to be covering the first episode. First one, man. So after this reaction, let us know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are you guys rocking with it? Go check it out on Netflix. It did come out October 3rd. And you can binge watch the whole first season now. It's a fact, man. We checked out that little sneak peek before. A little crazy action pack, blood all over the place. So, yeah, we're definitely excited for this right here. Mm -hmm. Give me so, Castlevania vibes. Super. It's from the same creators. I like that it shows people that look like us, too. So it's dope. Exactly. Yeah, Safe yeah. Models is in Spanish. Latino stand up. Yeah, look! But if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. And we got a Patreon, man. So to our Patreons, and we have a Patreon that has full early reactions of a lot of dope shows. Check out the link down below. And make sure you give this video a like and have that notification bell ringing so when we drop a video, you hear about it first. You, baby. Yes, sir. And for now, we're going to get into the first episode of Seis Manos. Episode 1, Toppled. This shit looks creepy though. No bull. It reminds me of like Brujeria or something. Santa like that. Yeah. <laughs> My boy's about to get branded or some shit. Oh! Oh wow, God. That shit look like it hurt. Like cold. That shit definitely hurt. <laughs> That shit will knock me out too. Oh, oh right. yeah, he definitely got, got branded. branded, yeah. In the cold. That's Alex Trejo, that's his name, right? The Mexican dude from Machete? Oh, oh that's yeah. That's a voice actor. Ooh. Did you just put some ashes on him? Kill him. What? what? Oh, shit. Mm. Wait, wait, it's like a test? Like, if you survive this, it'll be alright? Maybe that's how those monsters are made that we see in. in oh movie. wow! Maybe it's oh. Oh. Mm. oh my! Oh my gosh! You see, like lost control. Oh damn! Oh, oh that hurt. Yeah, he's definitely turning into that shit, bro. They got no aim. At all, he told me eight people with guns missed him, yo. He's like the Spanish king king. Right? Yo, I was just about <laughs> to say that. He got the same jacket, I mean, suit jacket and everything. Oh. That's Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you had to bring that back to Latin as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, big man can fight. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that cop was about to catch him slipping that tree. Oh. This reminds me of Jack and Chain Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yo. Yeah, wow. I feel you. <laughs> Yeah, he's getting stung up. No bull. Oh. God. Man, he got fucked <laughs> up. That's a hard ass <coughs> training to do. <laughs> no, that really is. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Silencio. <laughs> so the question isn't, am I first or last? It's, it's. I guess I don't know what it is yet. I thought he had it. And that is a very good answer. Mm. He's like, no, hell no, 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 no. Black man. Oh, that's a 
some kind of disrespect, bitch. Oh, there you go. He said, Tell her I expect dinner on the table. Oh, he's laughing some shit. Imagine that's his wife. Your husband. Your husband. Oh! Wow! Savage. That was savage. Black man. Black man. Oh, he probably wants to kill that nigga. Oh! That's probably the same dude that we saw earlier. That's the kingpin. Yeah, yeah. his tongue out. That's why he can't talk. That's why he's so angry. Something's fishy going on. Oh! oh. Nah, what the fuck? Don't tell me he's gonna kill the master, bro. Oh, hands by all, oh, he's smooth with the hands by his back and everything. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, God. God. Nah, this shit is banging. Woo! Woo! Clap with me, mommy. Oh. Seth's models, nigga. Oh, nah, it's dead. Oh, master's master. Dead, master's dead, bro. Master? Damn, for the master to die, though? I don't know if he's that much of a master. Like, you see what he's facing? Oh! I ripped your chest it's open. not even human, son. Oh! Wow. He was that the same? He definitely killed the master. He definitely man. killed the master. Oh! oh gosh. Whoa! Oh, what what the going? fuck? Yo, you guys hit the wrong people. On, and don't give a fuck. Nigga, this is wetting up the crowd. Oh, this shit is lit, Pat. We wetting up niggas. Ooh. Yeah! Silencio! Silencio! <laughs> Bro, he's over it. He's over it. Oh, he wants to kill his Yeah, this is like oh. what we see in the trailer. Oh. Ah! Wow. There's no way that little kid just died in that first episode like that. They killed that little kid in the first. Wow. Oh shit. Wow, they did not play games with this shit. They did not. Nah, yeah. Who this shit was back, yo? Fuck. Wow. That nigga dead. <laughs> the master. Yo. Oh. Fucking dead. Yo, you know what? Like, how do you go on? That's a fucked up ass day right there, man. <laughs> it's a great first episode. Oh, that one happened? white eyebrow. That was cold right there, bro. That was fire. Right there. Right there. God damn. Yo, how do you wow. even go on? Snapped on that story. That was, that, yeah. Wow. Like, usually in shows where death is like, approaches the first episode, that's how you know the story's gonna be crazy. The question is, how do you go on after seeing a kid that you just brought in die? Then see your master die. See him all like a just a demon just put gasoline and explode themselves. Like how do you like how could you mentally cope with that? Like, hey, <laughs> like I think right now it's more of a t like time is like yo we gotta figure out what the hell happened. Like what like obviously what happened in town correlated to our master's death. So it's any time like for them to have any type of fuel to their fire is right now. Yo no mm -hmm. more. Damn, I thought that little kid was gonna be like a pupil and become a savage to kill those That's things. That's what's so yeah. sad, but I feel like the new, like, the old and the new went at the same time. It's almost like, it's almost like Domingo. Like, the is it the first last and the last exactly. Sunday. You know, the first and last Sunday, and they're like, which one is it? I, he, he couldn't even, we didn't have time to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? Because, wow. and then even the master before he died, he said, I guess somebody's out of Sundays. Yeah. So, like, what is the play on the Sunday definition? Um, it could be first or last. You could think about it as like he's the older, the last, and the kid was the younger, the first, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So you can come into the week. Or no, the, the old man was the first because he's 
Um, oh, he came first. Yeah, he came first, and the little oh, kid was yeah, the last because he would be the last one. Yeah, that you're right. Trained. That's right. That my, I feel like it's a more of a state of mind. I think it's more of like, how do you look at it? Like, do you think it's the beginning or do you think it's the end for you? Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's uh, where it comes from. And I think this storyline and this anime is definitely different. And the story, like, usually you see the master last longer. They kill the master first episode. The kid that easily gets introduced, you grown to love him, you see him mature. Nope, he dies. Mm-hmm. And I think it's dope that we still don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, why did he turn into that? How did the master know what that was and said, why are you guys coming for me? It is crazy. Like, it's so much meaning. It's so much that happened in this episode. And it's dope how they made it so easy to digest. Like, I get and I'm caught up but i feel like it still was a lot of information but it wasn't overload it was a perfect like it was like yes i'm already connected and invested i we already feel for these characters we seen there the uh, kid that they just brought in and wanted to treat like a little brother died Mm -hmm. then they seen their come back and their master died now we feel for them three already like i like what they're doing it's dope and they gave us the background story of silencio too and Mm -hmm. how that correlates to the um kingpin they can do it is crazy because I really rock with the fighting choreography of it, yo. The fighting sequences was crazy, yo. Mm-hmm. The blood and everything like that. That's why I love it off rip because I love a show that can incorporate really good fighting choreography that's actually like unique too. It doesn't look like fighting in different shows. Like they have their own style of going out with it, especially because it's gory too. So yeah, that was like, yeah, it makes me wonder too, like, like why did the boss guy? Kill Silencio's parent. Mm-hmm. And why was Silencio? Because what if he didn't want the Silencio to die? I mean, to snitch, he could have just killed Silencio. Facts. Yeah. And then why did Silencio one eyebrow turn white? Yeah. And he got angry all of a sudden. And then there was, ch- and in the beginning we saw that the master is trying to hone Silencio's anger too. Mm-hmm. So obviously something is wrong with Silencio. He got some type of power mm-hmm. that he was trying to like. Hide, you know what I'm saying? What if like he's a partial source of that powder that was used to make those creatures? It could be. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. it's like, like that could be partially why he killed his parents and why, like the master was trying to control his anger because he could turn into a different form of those creatures. He could come into. Yeah. I don't even know. It's, I, th- it's I think crazy. that the, uh, I'm gonna just call it the Black Lotus for now because it's just, just like the Black Lotus. Lotus. <laughs> Black Lotus. Um, is an evil cult of demons that is from ancient history and there was another group of warriors probably like good demons that fought them and got and banished them from the earth and I think that Silencio is one of those demons which is why um, his parents he thought his parents his parents were probably a threat to that so as a result he killed his parents took his tongue out but I guess he underestimated Silencio Silencio's Silencio's um, actual strength Mm. and now it's gonna be a fight between essentially the fight between good and evil um and they're gonna have to try to stop these demons from taking over the world and also learning more about them and learning that these demons are obviously in some sort of pain because the dude killed himself yeah and in the preview we we saw another guy kill himself so they're obviously in some type of pain but yeah that's all i got (laughs) and i think um like oh shit i was gonna say Silencio. Zigardi, you can get it off. Constipate the forehead. Let it out. I forgot. Silencio. I'm just confused because I know he had a name before. His name was Silencio. I don't know why he ran with Silencio after. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. So I feel like the thing that he put on a guy's tongue to transform into some type of drug mm. it is a correlation because they brought up the fact that the city that they live in mm. is crimeless and that there is no drugs and it's the only city in mexico without drugs mm. so i feel like there probably isn't any drugs because the kingpin lives there yeah and he's probably of course gonna try to use the new drug he created in his own city mm. and see how it goes about so and he's probably trying to make a, a evil army yeah, I think so too. Like he's trying to make an evil army and bring back the Black Lotus to take over the world. Remember, if you're the last person to come back and tell somebody some bad news, don't come back. Well, I hope you guys love this reaction. If you're interested and in our reaction has piqued your interest on watching Sace Monos, make sure you check it out on Netflix. The full season one is there to watch. Binge watch it right now. 
If it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash. smash. That subscribe button. It's your boy, Wells, the Anime King. Get him, Wells. You guys put me on to a lot of animes. I'm trying to do the same for you guys. So check it out. Stay smart. It's on Netflix. Yes, sir, Patrick, our team, man. This show's crazy. Love the show that got floody, floody, bloody fight scenes, man. This one delivered right here, man. Check out more of the reactions coming soon, baby. It's a man, the myth, the maniac, Wilkins underscore RT, throughout the whole time of this episode, too. Aside from watching it and aside of how amazing this is, I was thinking of a jingle the whole time. I still haven't got it yet, but I'm going to think of one. No. Say some models. It's your boy, Ralph City RT, the Asian Prince. I'm just still at awe of how dope this is and the fact that they have a black man that looks like me. Black man. Black man. I'm black. Thank you guys. Shout out, uh, <laughs> shout out to Rob City. And, and Innocent Dub, let me not forget. But shout out to Sub 2. Shout out to everybody. And he was fucking the dude's wife. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not about that. <laughs> <laughs> no home record around here, alright? Hey, yo, that settles it at the, the Round Table. It's your boy Wells, Wild T TV. Man, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, let us know what you think. You know what?